Hello friends. I am outside on this absolutely beautiful day. It's absolutely stunning. Let me show you my view. <laughs> I'm out here in the front of the house just sitting in the grass and looking out across the pasture and the beautiful horses and the horizon far away doing some vision stretching for my Bates eyesight improvement that I've been working on. And I have had several of you guys, especially people over in our um, essential oils information support group asking about the no poo method and whether or not it works, whether or not it works for everybody, whether or not it's just kind of a myth or a hoax or just a bunch of hype. Um, and they know that I've been doing it for quite a while. So I thought I would hop on here and tell you my experience with it and what you might experience with it and some of the questions about um, how do I do it right? How do I know if I'm doing it correctly? Because there is a right way and a wrong way to do it. So if you're watching right now and you have questions about the no poo method and want to know whether it's real and it really works, then stay tuned. And if you have specific questions, just type them in the comments. And of course I had poor connection so hopefully you can see me now um, so anyway no poo method hey Katie how are you <laughs> says weak connection so hopefully that will fix itself we've been having Wi-Fi issues lately um, I'll give it a minute see if the connection fixes itself fix Nope. ah it fixed <laughs> I'll have to do that again next time. Okay, so no poo method. So right now I just got done um, washing my hair using the no poo method and I don't know how well you can see but um, I washed it and then I used the uh, a salt spray, a homemade essential oil salt spray and just kind of scrunch it into my wet hair and it makes it look the way it does right now. So I haven't used any um, heat styling tools, I, haven't, I have no hairspray, I have no chemicals, I have no shampoo, I have no conditioner, I have nothing on my hair but essential oils, some Epsom salts and the no poo method when I washed my hair. So I'm going to tell you how to do it so that you will get good results because there is a right way and a wrong way to do the no poo method. So first thing you have to do, get your hair wet, completely wet, really, really rinse it out, especially if you have product that you use regularly, rinse it out really, really well. Uh, then you want to have a container of baking soda in the tub or the shower with you. You want to scoop at least a couple tablespoons if you have hair my length or longer, put it in a cup and then take that cup and run it under the shower or scoop it a little bit in the tub to where you've got about a half a cup of water mixed in with your two tablespoons of baking soda. Swirl that around and then pour it over the top of your head. So just tip your head back and just pour that all over your head. And so it's mostly on the crown of your head but goes down over the rest of your hair. Then scrub as usual, just like you would with shampoo. Obviously it's not gonna suds but scrub deeply with your fingertips. Just really get your scalp clean, get your hair clean, and then rinse that all out completely. Once that's done, then you take apple cider vinegar and put about two tablespoons of that in that same cup that you used before. Fill it up under the shower with about a cup of water or just scoop some water from the tub, about a cup. And then you're going to pour that over the crown of your head and get it, try to evenly get it over your whole head so that it covers your head and goes down into your hair. Then massage that into your hair very, very well. You want all of your hair completely covered with that apple cider vinegar water mixture. Leave that on. Do the rest of your shower stuff, shave your legs, you know, um, wash everywhere, do all your other shower stuff. Then when you're done with that, then rinse all of that vinegar and water out of your hair. If you still smell a little bit of vinegary smell in your hair after you get out of the shower, it's no biggie. That smell will dissipate really, really fast. You won't go around all day smelling like a pickle, I promise. Uh, plus, you've got essential oils that you're gonna be putting in your hair all day, right? Right, you should be. If you're not, you should be. So, you'll smell like essential oils, not vinegar. So, that's it. That is the no poo method, and that is the way to do it correctly. You do the, the vinegar separate from the baking soda. You don't mix them together. You rinse each one out between each other. 
Um, especially if you've been using product in your hair, you may have to do it two or three times before you really get all of that junk out of your hair. Uh, I've heard people talk about having kind of a waxy buildup in their hair where they can't even run their fingers through it or run a brush through it. I have had that. I've totally gone through that. I understand you. I feel your pain. It's no fun. Um, keep going. It will go away. The best way to get rid of that is to do the baking soda deal two or three times in a row. So do the baking soda, scrub it in really well, rinse it out. Do it again, scrub it in really well, rinse it out. Do that two or three times and what that does is that really strips your hair of all of the product that has been on there, all of that gunk and junk and waxy stuff. Then when that's done, do the vinegar and the vinegar is what really makes your hair soft and shiny again. And after you've done that and you get out of the shower, towel dry your hair while it's still a little bit damp then you can do your homemade salt spray or you could do just water with oils like cedarwood, lavender, rosemary. Those are great for hair. So um, that's it. Have fun. If you have any other questions, let me know. I've been doing this for probably six years. I have not used shampoo for probably six years. I have tried some of the natural shampoos at intervals <laughs> along those last six years and I'm never happy with the results, never. They just end up gunking up my hair and I always go back to the no poo method every time. It's cheap, it's sustainable. Um, you can buy giant jugs of apple cider vinegar and giant 25 pound bags of, of um, baking soda so it's great for prepping. Uh, and then of course we have my oils to make my hair smell nice. So that's it, bye bye.